Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is a remake of the video I did several years ago on how trim works and the reason for this is this is X-Plane 12 simulating the trim tab on the elevator so now instead of just explaining to you how the trim works I can actually show you. So let's get started. The purpose of trimming is so that you don't have to hold your yoke or your joystick in a certain position to maintain a climb or level flight. So if you're taking off and you want to climb at 500 feet per minute, you're going to take off and pull the yoke back and you're going to get your climb set at 500 feet per minute. But now you have to hold the yoke there because if you let go naturally you're going to lose your climb and this is where trim helps you. So I'm going to demonstrate trimming in a Cessna 172. However, some other airplanes have different ways of trimming. There may be a switch, an electric motor or something like that to operate the trim tab on the elevator. But in the Cessna we have a trim wheel. And so let me just show you. Right here is the trim wheel. So as you see here, we have a nose down and a nose up position and a takeoff position for our trimming. Now this operates a trim tab on the elevator, which I'll explain later. But as you rotate this wheel down, as you pull it down, you'll notice this little tab goes towards the nose up. And the opposite is true. If I move it up, then we're going to go into a nose down position. So when we're in the takeoff position, the trim tab is in line with the elevator. So let's go outside and take a look at that. So here we are at the back of the airplane. And this moving part here, this is the elevator. And if I pull back on the yoke, you'll notice the elevator goes up. This is going to push the tail down and the nose up. If I push the yoke forward, it'll push the tail up and the nose down. That's how the elevator works. Now you'll see here, as we're running here, we've got air being blown over the elevator by the prop and just that amount of air over this elevator has an effect on the airplane and you will actually see that when we work the trim. So when we trim our airplane, when we're trimming, we're actually moving a trim tab. And it's hard to see here, but you see this little line across here? This little section on the elevator is basically a mini elevator. So as we move that trim wheel, we are going to move this trim tab. So let me show you. And watch the airplane too, because just the air from the prop is going to have an effect when I do this. So I'm going to trim down. So I'm turning the wheel down. And you notice that little trim tab is moving. And as I do that, the air coming over the elevator is actually moving the elevator up because of the trim tab. So the trim tab is actually holding the elevator in this position. And as you can see, just the air from the prop is having an effect on the elevator. So let's get back inside the airplane and I will demonstrate this. All right, here we are back inside and I have reset the trim tab into the takeoff position. Now, just again to show you just the effect of the prop. When I turn the trim, look at the yoke. You can see that the trim tab is actually moving the elevator up and down. And obviously that's going to affect the yoke. So what happens when we taking off? We set our trim tab to the take off position. Now, without taking off, I'm just going to show you how this works. Okay. So we're taking off, we've taken off, and we're pulling back the yoke, and now we're maintaining a 500 feet per minute climb. Well, if I let go of the yoke, obviously I lose my climb. So I hold the yoke back here, and now I trim. And I turn this trim wheel down, and I turn it down, and I turn it down, until 
I get to the point where I can release the pressure I'm using to hold the yoke in that position. And that's what trimming does for you. You can relax the pressure needed to hold the yoke in that position. Now this works with taking off and also in level flight. When you get to your cruise altitude, you're going to start trimming to maintain that altitude. And so now in level flight, we're going to be up in here someplace. And then we're just going to make little adjustments here with our trim wheel to maintain a level flight, to maintain our altitude. And a lot of times that may require a nose down position. You may have to move that nose down a little bit to maintain your level flight. That's why we have a nose down and a nose up position. So that's it on my little video on how trim works. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I answer all my comments. So thank you so much for watching and God bless.